going on guys it's Caleb and today I have a blue Nissan Rogue that is in the shop for a single step correction with a ceramic coating but this video isn't really going to be like the rest of them. Now with this one I originally was not going to record it mostly because I knew what was in for the day in terms of the weather. I knew the rain was coming, I knew I was going to get stopped, I knew I was going to be time crunched and all of that so my original thinking was you know what Caleb sit back, relax, take a break from recording. You've got plenty of footage on the backlog you can just use one of those but just me being the person I am it's screaming in the back of my head like dude no this is you're just wasting your time you could have more footage and show everyone what you're doing but with all the paint corrections i had set up in the schedule i figured you know what no like don't worry about it just relax and enjoy this one but at the same time you know just a complete argument with myself time and time again throughout the entire process of washing this thing so what i decided to do is kind of make it a vlog type format of me doing the polishing part of this and it ended up being a lot of fun i'm actually really really happy with the way the footage turned out if any of you guys are familiar with jim from white details overseas he's really good and it's a perfect example of what this video might be more like it is pretty in-depth for the paint correction section of it, mostly because I was really enjoying paint correcting this thing. The paint was pretty soft, it was working really good, the paint was beautiful and everything. So I hope you guys can sit back, relax, and enjoy it. The beginning was more of an ASMR type video because I really just had footage of the wheels and then me spraying off the car right here. So other than that guys, if you want to help me out real quick before we move on any further, just go ahead and press like for me. And if you like detailing content as well as paint corrections, car shenanigans, that sort of stuff, go ahead and press subscribe and ring that bell to know every single time I upload. So as I said, go ahead, sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and if you like this kind of formatting style of video, let me know in the comments below. I actually really enjoyed editing it. I don't know if you can see this on here. I don't know if you can see all of the swirls, but you can see it go up here and there is nothing. This is some very soft paint and just a simple one step is doing a massive job on it. Like you can see here too, like just on this panel, this panel looks great. It's awesome. Anyways, yeah, we got some Sonex Perfect Vision, uh, the Sonex Perfect Finish on a yellow Rupes pad, polishing this thing up. It is a beautiful blue. Let's, I'm getting a haircut at 4 p.m. today, which is why my hair is put back. It's so long and annoying. <laughs> Only spots that have been polished are right here on that panel and then the whole entire roof. So what we're gonna do now is start on the door, go door, go hood, door, door, and then do the whole back and then do the front and then we'll start coating it. Shouldn't take too long, but I'll bring you guys on the journey with me. why I haven't taped off all the trim. If there is protruding trim, then of course I will do it because obviously I'm gonna hit that. But with most cars out there with a very simple one-step polish, that sort of thing's not a problem. You can kind of just work your way around it and it's not that big of a deal. With this one, the paint itself actually protrudes away from the trim. So it's not that bad. It's almost as if the body panel has a lip and then it goes inwards to the trim. So it's not really something I have to worry about essentially with this vehicle in particular. <sighs> so I'll set you up back here and uh, let's keep going.
that blue looks so good. Huh. That just looks really good, right? Like, oh, my hair. I love blue cars. Dang. single parts of sun damage like right here you can see there's some on the roof and stuff I just contacted the owner about it to see if he knew anything about it and he did let me show you the roof here so you know obviously with spots like that you got to be a little more careful go a little lighter sometimes not even touch them at all but once they're coated have some sort of UV protection on it it should stop it at least for a little bit. Ah, there you go. Now you guys are locked back in. Let's get this hood done. Let's talk about these headlights. We're going to go ahead and try polishing them and seeing if they come clean. I did a little thing here just by whenever I did this part, I kind of brushed over it and I can kind of see where it worked pretty well. So I think what we're gonna do is just try the same combo we're using for the paint on the headlight and see how that all turns out. And I think it's gonna turn out good. And now with this being completely polished, we're going to take some Adam's surface prep. Whoop, there we go. And IPA wipe down the entire vehicle and get the, every single panel prepped and ready for ceramic.
All right, so one half of the car is ceramic coated. Now we gotta move the other half. It's raining outside right now, and we went ahead and took the garage door, lifted it up, let air circulate. So I'm gonna wait to do the front because there's obviously some chances of little specks of water getting on the front of the car, and ceramic coatings are known to be prone to water spotting, so we're just gonna take it step by step. Gonna start on the back now. It looks amazing. I love the color blue, always have. My car's blue, and even though it's just a basic Nissan Rogue, this thing looks awesome. I am in love with the color of it. And a simple one-step polish on this really took away majority of the scratches and swirls it had. It turned out fabulous. One thing to note too about certain ceramic coatings such as Proje, this one can go on anything pretty much. So I'm putting on the plastic trim, I'm gonna put it on the windshield, I'm gonna put it on the rear window as well. Kind of just kit this thing out totally. And then I'm gonna use some Adam Ceramic Boost in order to protect the coating while it cures. So let me show you guys the side that's already coated because it looks really good. It's going over the hood, bro. It's going over the hood. He's gonna hide the lock. Yo, the whole thing is underwater. Yo, turn around, bro. Why'd you go in there? Oh, um, I gotta get under. Camera's getting wet. It's rolling back. I think he's walking out. That whole time it was underwater, bro. Look at that truck just gonna oh, yeah. <laughs> right by. Damn, that guy's kind of an ass. Damn, it's underwater, bro. Going on and off. Yeah. Espera por el por la llamada. Ella mismo llama. What you say about my mother? What you say about my mama? <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who are like, y'all shouldn't be making fun of them, we should go help them. No, there's help out there right now. That's why we weren't doing it. There's people there now. They pulled over, they're helping him. All good, all good. His car, he'll be fine. Let's keep going on this. That's nice. <laughs> I love what I do, man. I love it. Ah. Uh. 
to do is throw on some of this Atom Ceramic Boost. This is going to protect the coating as it cures. Granted, Crochet says it's pretty much cured in 20 minutes. I don't really believe that, but I still put this on because it, you know, makes it look more glossy. It helps it out, whatever. Plus it works good, I really like this stuff. Next day, here at the shop, and uh, the car has fully cured. It looks fantastic, and we're gonna focus on getting the interior done. That's going to include a full vacuum, cleaning of the seats, wiping down all the hardscape with some P&S Express interior cleaner, and then putting on a UV protection coating thingy. Requires hyper dressing, the same stuff I always use. And then we're going to go ahead and put on some tire dressing, and call it done. I think it looks really good. Let's go check it out. So I still have my sunglasses on because I just got here. And I don't feel like yanking all my stuff out of the car. I'd rather show you guys this thing before I unpack all my stuff. So let's go ahead and go over the paint. It's gonna be very hard to see the defects in the paint right now because of the light I have. This is just a very simple Adams Polishes paint checker light. This thing's not the greatest, but it works pretty good, I guess you could say. Um, it's no fancy light like a lot of other detailers have. I do need to get one. After the Mustang detail this weekend, I plan on getting one, but this should do for now. So what a one step does is it gets rid of a lot of the surface swirls, marring, that sort of stuff that you get from wiping down a car, dust hitting it, daily driving, washing it improperly, that sort of thing. And it's very hard to see, but majority of that's gone. This paint was actually in stellar condition. It was in really good condition when it got here for being was this 11 year old paint? It's actually really good and I'm really shocked by how well it turned out. Here, this is a good way to see it. There's like no defects. I think that lady just took a picture of my car. Or my tag. What the hell? All right, anyways, so it's very difficult to make out any imperfections in the paint with this color of paint. Overall though, I'd say it's in pretty good condition. The owner of this car is in medical school and she wants it to be preserved throughout her time being in medical school, which here in the States is quite a long time. And now it's definitely in really, really good condition. I'm really happy with the way this turned out.
very difficult to film. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get this all done. Come back to you guys and check in. Yeah, it's getting hot in here too. Oh, let's do this. And now let's go ahead and start the time lapse of doing the windows. dressing and some tire dressing. Speed <sighs> maker, make sure it's nice and pretty for the owner. So that brings us to the end. If you guys like the video, go ahead and please join me by leaving a like down below. And if you like cars, go ahead, press subscribe. If you like car detailing, press subscribe. Ring that bell to know every single time I upload. Go ahead and share with a friend as well if you want to. But other than that, I'm waiting for the owner to show up. Hudson's gonna be here in probably 20 minutes at Chipotle. I'm gonna grab, it's about one o'clock, so I'm pretty hungry. So I'll leave it there, guys. I will see you all Friday with a detail video. And uh, yeah. See ya.